Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. So today is card day. We are doing a technique card or a fancy fold card. This one, I'm not even sure what it's called. I just saw it on Instagram. Someone did one on Instagram and I didn't see the instructions, but I saw how it worked. And so I just created this one myself. So this actually slides off like this and it is a gatefold this way. This is an Easter card, so I put an Easter sentiment on the inside. It has a little bit of a mechanism here on the sides so that this will slide on. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. On the gatefold part, um, it is a 16th measurement, but I'm gonna show you another way to do this because it has 16th inches, but I'm gonna show you an easier way to do that. So this just slides down. You can slide it in the middle. You can keep it to the top. It's all up to you how you want to do it, but isn't it adorable? I love this stamp set. This stamp set is called Springtime Joy. This is in our new um, spring catalog. So I'm using this little lamb here, the little duck, and then this is the sentiment I'm using, and I'm also using the little butterfly on the inside as well. We are coloring them with our Stampin' Blends, but you can color these with anything. I'm doing really simple coloring, which I'm probably going to just speed through so you can follow along. I've done so many now that I've colored with, and so if you want to see any of the other ones, you can check out some of my other videos where I have not spe sped it up. All right. For this one, we are using our layering squares. You can do this technique with circles, squares, ovals, any of your layering ones. You have to have two that are pretty close to the same size is what I found. And so these are the two I'm using. And this one is the scalloped and it's three and a quarter inches. And this one is the plain and this is about three inch square. All right, so what you're gonna need for this, let me scoot it out of the way, and you are gonna need our Suttles Designer Series Paper. These are our six by six, which come in our all of our color family. So this is the Subtle Pack. I'm using Highland Heather, and I'm using our Highland Heather cardstock. This one is five and a half by eight and a half. This is the same size piece if you were just folding in half at four and a quarter, would make your five and a half by four and a quarter card base. But we're doing a gatefold, so I'm going to show you a little trick that I came up with to get this to work really well. So I already cut out two of the basic white using the layering dies, the layering squares, and then I cut two of the scallops. So that's what you need for the little mechanism. To mat the front of this piece right here is two and five eighths by two and five eighths, and to do the two panels is one and three quarters by five and a quarter, and then you do need a piece for the inside, and this is four by five and a quarter, and this is for the inside where we're stamping our sentiment. All right, so let's get started with this. First, I'm going to show you how I do the gatefold. Um, to make this easier without using 16th inches because I know a lot of you do not like 16 inches. I've been there. It took me a long time to finally get it, but this is going to be easier for you. So you're going to just mark four and a quarter and you're going to be able to erase this later. You don't even have to erase the whole thing, just the top and bottom because we're matting that. So again, four and a quarter. And then I'm going to just do one down here too. I just want to make sure I have these all lined up really nicely. So these are our four and a quarter. And I think I marked that one wrong at the top. Let's double check. Oh, got that at four and a quarter. Four and a quarter. Okay. We're going to just go ahead and line these all up. For a minute I thought I had it off a of hair, but I think I'm good. And I'm just drawing a line all the way down, really light line. So can you see that? I have a line right there. So this is what you're going to do now. 
you're going to use your bone folder, but what you're going to do is you're going to just take this and you are going to slightly put it inside that line. Now you don't want it on top of the line, you just want it slightly inside. So it's almost like a sixteenth of an inch. And you're just going to press that down. You're going to do the same with the other side. So I don't know if you can see that up close. See, it's just before the line. We're going to do the same thing on this one. And you just want a small, you're going to do the same with this one, and you want a small little area space there. Make sure you got it straight, and then just use your bone folder. So can you see that amount of space? That's what you're looking for for this. All right, let's go ahead and mat these. I'm going to use wet glue. And we're going to mat these. This is such a fun card, and it's the first time I saw anything like this. So if any of you know the proper name of it, I'm just calling a front slider card because I don't know if it has a proper name or if someone just came up with this. And then we are matting this. And I'm matting it smaller because I do want a lot of the Highland Heather showing around the edge. I didn't want it totally covered. So I made the mats a little bit smaller than I normally do. All right, so let's go ahead. Oh, let's do the inside. Let's go ahead and do the inside while we have it. I'm going to use an eraser and I'm just going to erase the bottom and the top part here because we're putting our sentiment on here. So we're matting that. I'm going to stamp this. So I'm using Memento Black and I'm using the Easter sentiment. And we're going to stamp that in the center. I'm going to also use the Butterfly. Put the Butterfly right there. And I'm going to leave this out because we're going to stamp our little lamb and our little duck. But I'm using some light and dark Highland Heather for this and I'm just going to color very quick and easy for this one. And that is it for our butterfly. Super, super quick and easy and simple. So let's go ahead and mat this. You can use your stamp and seal, whatever you like to use. I'm really gotten used to using the multi-purpose. So, so maybe you can see the space a little bit better now about how much it is for this. So you just want a small space. All right, so now let's go ahead and mat this while we have this here. You're only matting the one. We'll set that aside for a minute and let's go ahead and stamp our little lamb and our little chick. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. I, I just love this. We do have to fussy cut these, but again, I'll go ahead and speed through the fussy cutting so y'all don't have to sit and watch me do that. You've seen me do that a lot too. But I'm going to tell you what I'm using to color these in case you wanted to know. Light and dark Highland Heather. Light and dark um, Daffodil Delight, Light and Dark Granny Apple Green. For the Little Lamb, I'm using Light Smoky Slate. We are using this for the Little Beak of the Duck, which is um, Dark Pumpkin Pie. And then I'm using this Light pink, Petal Pink for his cheeks. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that and I will speed this up for you all. All right, everyone, I got them um, all colored. Are they not so cute? I just outlined this lamb to give him a little bit of color, um, but you can color him however. But now I'm gonna go ahead and fussy cut it, and so I am gonna go ahead and speed it up so you don't have to watch me um, cut these, or yeah, cut each one of them out individually.
All right, everyone, look how cute. They're so cute. I just love these, they're adorable. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our other pieces here. So you have these two pieces and our other scallop piece. What you're gonna do with these is you are going to fold it in half. Line it up good though. And then you can use your bone folder to sharpen that. And you're gonna do the same with this one so it looks like that. Do the same with this one. And now I'm gonna use wet glue to attach it to this other square here. And this is the best idea because you want to line these up just right. And that you want them to be the seam to seam. So this seam to the other seam. And you want it to be straight and have them like butted up right next to each other. And then just give it a press down. And then you have it looking like that. It looks like a little book. All right, now we're gonna take our piece here that we matted and we are gonna add that to the top of this. Line up your scallops good so they're even. And then to this, see, you can see these little, um, it's kind of like the mechanism there. So we're gonna use some Stampin' Dimensionals and we're gonna pop these little guys up on here. Get our backings removed here. And we'll put him here, or her there. And then our little duck. We'll add to the back here. Put him right down here. Isn't it cute? And now we'll bring back in our base, our card base here. And the first time you put it on, it might be a little bit tricky because it needs to be loosened up a hair. Oops, I don't have it in the... Make sure you got it inside the little, the little opening. There we go. And then it just slides on just like that. It's very, very easy. Once you take it on and off a couple times, it's gonna come off and on really easily. So I would take it off a couple times before you give it. But isn't that adorable? I think that it's so sweet. Here's the other one. They're so fun. I hope you give it a try. And I hope you all have a blessed day. I'll catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone. Bye.